you all heard the news and were able to make it out here to join me and my friends to bless the Lord. Wait, are you guys from around here? I don't think I've seen any of you before. Where are you guys from? No, Where? we're all the way from the other side of the world just to see. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Can't believe how they got here. Wait, so that means we haven't heard the news. Wait, have you guys heard the news? Uh, wait, it looks like they haven't heard the news. You guys, okay. That's impossible. This whole city is just hustling and bustling with the news of Jesus Christ. This teacher, he raised Lazarus from the dead just a couple of days ago. Okay, maybe we're not making ourselves clear. Lazarus was dead, like D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Like no heartbeat, nothing. We wrapped him up in the grave clothes. We were mourning with his sisters Mary and Martha for four days straight until Jesus decided to show up. But no one was gonna no one had a clue what was gonna happen next. Jesus came up to the tomb and he just yelled out, Lazarus, come out! And all of a sudden, Lazarus just comes out like he just woke up from a nap or something. It was incredible! Most of us here have heard this news and we're here to welcome him to the city. Do you guys want to welcome him with us? I'm gonna have you guys form two lines. One on this side of the wall and one on this side of the wall. Blasphemy! Waving branches around like he's some sort of messiah? Like he's some sort of king? How do we know he raised Lazarus from the dead? Lazarus could have been taking a long nap. We don't know that. Teacher, tell all these people that you're no king. You're no savior to any of them. You're not my savior. Tell them! I tell you that if these, these people, these children, if they keep quiet, then the stones will cry out in their place. claiming to be the son of God? Man, I bet you that was illegal and that made them quite angry. So, you see, today is the Sabbath. It's a day that's supposed to be kept holy by all of the Jews, Jesus included. You're not supposed to cook, you're not supposed to clean, you can't go out to play with your friends. Everyone has to rest on that day. But here's Jesus walking through the streets. He's claiming to be the son of God and he's proving it by healing people. We told you guys about Lazarus, right? He healed him, he resurrected this man. He was healing blind men, he was making lame people walk. 
and this really upset the Pharisees, which is why they're out after us. But I think I'm hearing something going on in the city square. There's a market over there. Do you guys want to check it out with me? Sure. Bye. Bye. I can only just beg. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I think I might have enough money for a piece of bread today. No, it's so hard to be blind. I thank you guys for your help. And I hope you never have to be blind. Can you guys, can you guys help me? There's, there's a man that everybody's been talking about. Is one of you guys him? Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes. You know, the whole town's been talking about him. But anytime he's around, there's always such a big crowd and I can't get to him because I can't see. Can you guys help me? Look around. Do you guys see him? Look, look around. Help me, please. Look around, please. Help me. Help me. Where? Where? Tell us to come here. Tell us to come here. Help me, Jesus. Oh, oh. Teacher, is that you? Rabbi. Why is this man blind? Is it because he sinned? Or did his parents sin? Who did the sin? Peter, no one has sinned. Not the man, nor his parents. He was made so God's work could be shown through him. There will come a day when no one can work. But while I'm here amongst you, we must do the work of the one who sent me. I am the light.
Now go, Yosef, and wash yourself in the pool of Silhouette. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, come on, guys, this way, Everyone, this way. Come on, come on. I can see! 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 Everything's so beautiful! I can't believe I can see! I can't believe I can see! What's happening here? You guys remember it's the Sabbath today, right? What's going on? What's all the commotion about? What's the of all of this? Wait a minute! Can someone explain? You! I'm talking to you! Aren't you the man who used to sit here all day and beg? Oh no, that guy is blind, so right. he's probably begging out there somewhere. You're right. Where somewhere is that guy? Right uh, I, I am that man. You're the blind beggar? <laughs> Explain How's yourself. Possible? How are your eyes open? What's going on? What happened? The man they call, what was his name? Jesus. Jesus, the man they call Jesus. Jesus, Jesus he came and he put mud into my eyes and you guys all saw it. And he put it in my eyes and he said, go. And wash yourself in the pool. Yeah. And I I came here and I put I, I washed away the mud and and now I can see. Well, show me Where is this man? Jesus. Where did he go? I don't see him. He was right, he's just right here. Have you seen him? Yes. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go? He went to do another miracle. Where did he go? Where did Jesus go? Did you see where he went? Where did he go? Did you see where he went? She, I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't know. have been speaking of this Jesus lately, but he is no son of God. Constantly breaking the Sabbath law. He's a Sabbath breaker who's broken every law in the book. Something's got to be done about it because a sinner. He cannot be performing such miracles. This is unacceptable. You're right, my friend. We gotta do something about this. Absolutely. What do you suggest that we do, my friend? I think we need to go see the high priest. Yeah. yeah. The high priest. Sabbath breakers over here. Come on. Wait, what the is bed, Jesus doing? The no, what, what is he doing? It's the dead sea. No way. Jesus, good to see you. But Jesus, what is all this? Are you going to be washing my feet? What I'm about to do, you won't understand right now, but you will understand later. But Jesus, you can't wash my feet. There's no way I'll let you. Peter, if I can't wash your feet, you can't have part of me. Then don't just wash my feet only. Wash my hands and my head also. He who is bathed needs to only wash his feet, otherwise he is clean.
this you must do for one another as I have shown you. Let this be an example to you all. No one is greater than his brother or sister. A new commandment I give to you. Love one another as I have loved you. This is going to be our last meal together before I have to go. What do you mean, teacher? I'm going to be given up to my enemies, arrested and condemned. For what? He's innocent. He's done nothing wrong. He's not do anything. He's But there is one more thing we have to do. This bread represents my body, which will be broken for you. Take this. Divide it amongst yourselves. This blood represents the blood that is shed for you. Drink from it, all of you. This is the cup of the new covenant, which will be shed for the forgiveness of everyone's sins. Drink it as often as you shall in remembrance of me. My peace, I leave with you, so do not be afraid. Jesus, you can't just leave us. You, you must send someone. After I go, I will send you a helper. He will be with each and every one of you. He will teach you and he will guide you. Jesus, we're supposed to go fishing tomorrow. Oh, Philip, we'll go fishing one day, I promise. Jesus, where you are going, may we follow you? Where I am going, you may not come, not yet, but you will understand why. Judas, Go do what you have to do. But do it quickly.
Not all can be revealed to you now, Peter. But one day, everything will be revealed to you. Two hundred. But what does it mean that the doors are open? Are we ready? Are we not ready? And what doors? One day it will all be revealed to you, my friends. My friends. Stay up with me and pray for a while. Intercede that you would not be led into temptation. Pray to the Father. I'll be over here. Yes, Lord. We will. Pray to the Father. We'll pray. Pray to the Father. Father, Father, let this go pass for me. <laughs> but not my will, but yours be done. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Where are you going? Where are you going? Peter. Peter. Peter, John. Are you sleeping? Can you not be sober for just an hour? Rise up, pray. Pray. The hour is coming. Forgive us, Lord. I'm sorry. The hour is at hand. Okay. Pray and be sober minded. Forgive us, Lord. The hour is at hand. Pray for those that you have given me. Make them one as you and I are. I have given them your glory. May they glorify your name, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. Protect them from the evil one. <laughs> The evil one. Protect them, Father. I reveal to them your will. For the hours come. The hours. My friends. My friends. Get up. Get up, my friends. The hours here. The hours here. Rise up. What do you mean, Rise up. What do you mean by the hours? Rise up. And pray. Pray to the Father. Teacher, what do you mean? Teacher, what do you mean? Let's pray. Adonai! He will lead us to him. Show us this Messiah. Where is he? Paul, let get him. He has spoken lies. He is taught openly in the temple. It's called enough rebellion. Smooth Galilean scum! We have to go. We have to. How do they find us? We can leave. Why are we not leaving? There's still so much we can do. You betray the son of man with the kiss. Silence! Who is it that you are looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. <laughs> Blasphemy! Who speaks like this? Who is it that you are looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. I told you that I am he. If it is I that you are looking for, leave these men alone. Oh, but you've Arrest him! Arrest him! Go! Jesus, go! Go! Hey, go! 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 Go
You must go! They're here after you, can't you see? Get him! You must go! For your safety! Let him go! Go! Here comes by the sword and die by the sword. This must happen. This has to happen. No! Jesus Christ! Jesus. No! But no, you're you innocent! Do it. He's done nothing wrong! No. Right. Yes, we have to go! No, we have to go! We have to go! James! I've been with you in the temple every day. You touch me! <laughs> Take him away! Take him away! Now is your hour. Where darkness reigns. You do. We will summon the council. You heard this man speak? Oh, the son of God. Son of God. The Messiah? The prisoner of Solomon is the king of the Jews. The simple carpenter. So what do you accuse this man of? Have you heard this man speak, Pilate? Agree with me. He's a simple carpenter. He refers to himself as the king of the Jews, the Messiah, the son of God. We wouldn't have brought him to you if he hadn't committed a crime. And this sounds like your issue. You take him and you judge him according to your own laws. Well, Pilate, as you know, we and the people, we, we have no authority to put anyone to death. Death? What did, what did he do deserving of death? The man has broken all rule of Sabbath. He claims to take on all sins of the world. In addition, to destroying the temple and rebuilding it in three days. The people have spoken for it. The man's an absolute revolution. So you are a king. Does this question come from you? Or do you ask because others have told you that is what I am? Your own people have delivered you to me. And they want me to execute you. Why? What have you done and are you a king? My kingdom does not belong to this world. For if my kingdom belonged to this world, my people would fight to keep me from being handed to the Jewish authorities. So you are a king. You say that I am king. I was born and came into this world for one purpose, to speak about the truth. Whoever belongs to the truth listens to me. Their accusations. You say nothing to them. You're silent. Why? I have the power to take your life or to give it to you. The only authority you have been given is from above. You have brought to me Jesus, but I find no reason to condemn this man. As is my custom every Passover, I release a criminal to you, whom you choose. So, who do you choose? 
Barabbas the criminal? Or Jesus the Messiah? No, give us Barabbas! Barabbas! Give us Barabbas! Silence. You rather have me release to you a criminal, Barabbas, than Jesus who claims to be your king? We have no other king but Caesar. We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. Barabbas. And what should I do with Jesus? Crucify him. I find no fault in this man, but I wash my hands because I'm innocent of his blood. It will be your responsibility. We take responsibility of his death. His blood will be on us and on our children. Kill that man! here to see, huh? What's going on here? Huh? You come to see a king? King? What king? A king? Behold, the king of the Jews. It's not supposed to be. I'm going to something about kings. I've seen a few in my life. All right. They have Roman guards. That's right. The one you call king hangs with common thieves. Look at him. Don't we have names for these guys? Sure do. This guy, we call him Sticky Fingers. Yeah. <laughs> if that's Sticky Fingers, the one to my right, the despicable one in the blue, is Stickier Fingers. Better watch your wallets. I've seen him work. He'll jump off that cross and rob you clean. I said, don't get any closer. Stand back. Stand back. What have we here? No. Ooh, this looks nice. King Roke. What do you guys think? Is this nice? Hey, yeah. put it on. Put it on. Oh, put it on. Put it on. Yeah. It doesn't suit you. Ooh, looking good. Thank you. Your yeah. Highness. Looks better on Jesus. Oh, your yeah. majesty. Silent. As the Jews might say it, oh, king of the Jews, Thank you. save us from the wicked Romans. Yeah, right. <laughs> if that's ever going to happen. Uh -uh. Look at him. Your savior? Wow. This Should I sell this? Nice. Hey, don't sell that. How much money can I get for this, huh? Come on, man, I want that. You want it? Yes, don't no sell way. that. No way. Give it to me. No. Come on. I'll play for it. What do you guys think? Should I play, play for it? it? Oh, Take a seat. Let's do this. In the middle. I'm watching you. I'm not be cheating. No. Come on. It's too low. Stop. Oh, I'm thirsty. He thirsty. I'm thirsty. He thirsty. Give him some water. He thirsty. Dying man, thirsty. Just give him some water. I'll set up the game to play. Give him some water, I said. Hey, you're thirsty, huh? Want water? No! 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 Anybody else thirsty? Anybody else? That's what I thought. Let's do this. Come on. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgive, forgive who? You do not have the power to forgive. 
Look at you! I don't know you. I don't know what you have done to have been placed on this cross. I've heard of your teachings. I don't know why they treat you like this while you remain in silence. But what I do know is that you are innocent and I am not. If you were the Messiah, prove it to us. Save yourself and us. Benjamin, do you not fear God when you're sentenced to die on this cross? For we deserve this just punishment for the crimes that we have committed. Please, please, I ask you, remember me when you enter your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today, you will be with me in paradise. Stop talking out there. Silence. Oh. Oh. My God. My God. Jesus. Why have you forsaken me? I said enough. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. What's going on here? Did you guys feel that? What's going on here? time of Jesus and he wrote this in his book but he was pierced for our rebellion crushed for our sins he was beaten so we could be whole by his wounds we are healed all of us like sheep have gone astray we have left God's paths to follow our own yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all he was oppressed and treated harshly Yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. Jesus, the Son of God, like it says there, he came like a sheep to the slaughter. He was silent. He was silent. He chose to go up there quietly. He chose to not say a word. He chose. He chose to let his own disciple betray him. He is the son of God. And he came for all of our sin. He came for all of our shame. And he put it upon that cross and upon his shoulders to be risen on the third day. That is not a defeat. That is a victory. Let's go see what happens on the third day. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? No! Where is he? Why have they taken him? Where have they taken him? He's done no harm. Why couldn't they just leave him alone? Was it not enough that they took him away from me when they killed him on the cross? But now they had to take his body away from me too? No! 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 
<laughs> Jesus! No! 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 <laughs> Why are you crying? Why am I crying? I'm crying because they've taken my friend! Jesus! They took his body away from me! And now, I don't know where he is! <laughs> Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Have you taken him? If so, tell me where he is so I can go and get him and I'll forget all about this. Mary. Teacher! Teacher! Teacher, is that you? You're alive! He's alive! He is risen! by my name, Mary. My name is Mary Magdalene. And three years ago, if I told you that I was standing here wearing these clothes, dressed like this, you would have never believed me. Crying over a dead body, never. That's not me. But three years ago, my life was completely flipped upside down by this man, Jesus. He changed me. He freed me. My parents, they gave up on me. They lost hope in me. Doctors, they could no longer help me. Sophia. I was broken. I was empty. I was in pain. I wasn't worthy. I was unloved. Nobody cared about me. Nobody wanted me. I was stuck. But Jesus, he met me at my lowest point in my life. He freed me. He called me by my name, Mary. In an instant, all of the darkness that I had in my life, it was gone. It fell off. He broke those chains. When he died for me on that cross, he took each and every single one of my sins and he resurrected three days later. What he did for me, he can do for each and every single one of you. He loved me and he called me by my name. He changed my life and it will never be the same ever again. Hey, my name is Peter. Yeah, I'm the same Peter that betrayed Jesus in the garden a few days ago. I'm the same Peter that denied Jesus near the courtroom. I'm the same Peter that struggled with anger and control issues most of my life. But Jesus called me by name. In fact, he gave me a new name. Peter. It means rock. When Jesus resurrected and he came to us, he promised us a new gift. The Holy Spirit sent to us from heaven itself. And it fills me with so much boldness and so much confidence to come out here and speak this, to, this message to all, so that all may believe. Hi everyone, my name is Ness and I'm just here to share a testimony of what Jesus personally did in my life. Um, I grew up in this church, actually, I grew up in a Christian family, I grew up knowing God and always loving God. Um, but at about a very young age, around eight or nine years old, I got, uh, I started being attacked by the enemy so hard. He would send lies into my head that I would believe so, so easily. Lies of my identity, lies of being worthless, lies of this and that, and that led me to so much depression and so much anxiety. Growing up, I had such a big issue with with friendships and after betrayal after betrayal, I became so broken hearted that I became so suicidal. Every morning I would wake up and I would say, is this the day, is this the day where it can finally be over? Is this the day where I can finally step out in front of a car and end my life? Is this the day where I can overdose and end my life? Is this the day where I can go and grab a kitchen knife and end my life? I was so tired of living and I said, God, it's not worth it. It's not worth life. It's not worth, it's not worth living. And I cried out to God and He came because He is good and He is faithful. And Jesus came and He touched my life and He called me by my name and gave me a new name. And instead of depression, He filled me with so much joy and instead of brokenness, He gave me hope and a new spirit. Instead of, instead of pain, He gave me love and His love He made known to me. And now Jesus isn't just a story that I know because of a Sunday school class. It's not something that I grew up with. 
His presence is the most real thing in my life. And I wouldn't trade it for anything of this world. Things that I found satisfaction in before are garbage to me. Because the only thing that my heart beats for and the only thing that my heart is after is Christ and Christ alone. And this is what Jesus does. He doesn't just see, he doesn't just hear, but he responds and he transforms lives. I'm here as a testimony, one of many, that God is who he says he is. And every morning I will wake to share of who, uh, to share of who he is and what he's done. So may the name of the Lord be forever praised and be forever glorified because he is exalt exalted and forever good and forever glorious. What we just saw was Jesus' journey to the cross, where he was to be crucified, brutally beaten. It was said that he was unrecognizable when he ended up on the cross. His hands were pierced. He was up there for hours. He was up there, not just as a fact or just doctrine, but he was there as a true, true son of God. He went up there so that we could eternally be with him and be in relationship with him. So that my sin and my shame could be put upon his shoulders and he would rise again three days later with it defeated and gone. As for me, my name's Emma. I also have a testimony. Jesus saved my life as well, just like he saved hundreds and thousands of lives. Man, Jesus is a good, good king. He is good, he is a good Messiah. In my shame, he came through and he said, you are clean and you are pure. That is what he calls his children, that's what he calls every single one of us to be. It's to be a child of God. Where there is lust, where there is anger, where there is control, where there is hopelessness, he brings hope. God redeems and he restores, he heals and he provides. God is a good God. And it feels wrong to just end it off by saying, thank you for coming. If any of you have anything to share, if any of you have questions, if any of you want to come to know this Lord as your personal, personal Savior, as your everyday walk, as your everyday prayer, we'll be here for you. If you have any questions to ask us, we'll be here for you. There's a Sunday service called Resurrection Sunday Service. If you want to come there, you can, but I want to say that Jesus rose again. Jesus was triumphant and he was victorious. This is not a sad story of him being crucified. It is a victory story. So thank you for coming. We're probably going to meet out there to pray all together and thank the Lord. And if you want to, if you want to accept Jesus into your heart as he knocks at this time, if you want to share your own testimony, if you want to ask any questions, you can out there. So, Come this way.